This is just a recap on bearings. We've got A, B, C and D. We're just going to put some internal angles in first. So we'll say that's uh, 91 degrees. That one's 93 degrees. That one's 89 degrees. And that one's 87 degrees. They'd usually be minutes and seconds and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's fine, this is just the principle. Before we can get going then, we need a starting bearing. Now bearings of course always relate to north, in this case north that way, and they're always measured clockwise. So we've got line AB, line BC, C to D and D to A. Now we're given, <coughs> in this example, the bearing from north all the way around to line B. So bearing AB equals, let's say it's 300 degrees. So you're, you stood at A, you find north, you turn around 300 degrees, and you just walk that way a certain distance. Don't worry about distances for the time being, but a certain distance and you eventually get to B. Now what we're going to have to calculate is from north all the way around to C, and then when we're at C, from north all the way around to D, and then from D, from north, all the way around, which will only be a little bit, to A. So that's the task. We need to calculate BC, uh, CD, and DA. <coughs> Consequently then, let's look at this corner. Well, if we've turned north, from north, 300 degrees and walked that way, if you imagine we walk that way and we keep looking that way, we'll be looking along that line of sight. That from north all the way around to our line of sight must be 300 because it's the same as from north to that line. So this angle here all the way around is 300, round to there. So if you imagine turning back round to look at A, we've walked over to B, we've turned 180 degrees, we're looking back at A. If we come back 100, we're effectively removing 180 degrees from it, and we're just going to be left with that angle. So we've got 300 degrees to start with, remove 180, that'll give us the back bearing from B, as if we're walking back to where we came from. So in this case, BA, from B back to A, will be 300 minus 180, which is 120 degrees. So we know that that bit there, I'll put it in green actually, I'll do another colour pen, splash out. So that bit there will be 120 degrees. But we don't want to know from B back to A, we want to know from B all the way around to C. But it's easy done, because we've got 120 there, and we're already told that this angle there is 93. So we've got 120 add 93. So that'll be, what, 213? Um, yeah, 220, take away 7, 213. So basically, we've worked out BA is 120, but BC, and you have to use that number, it's going to be 120 plus the angle you're given, 93. Um, so BC, bearing BC, is going to be the red number, 213 degrees. So if you were at B and you turned off 213, you'd walk straight down, you'd get to C. So usually you end up just taking off 180, adding on the angle you're given. And then taking off 180, add on the angle you're given. Take off 180, add on what you're given. Um, so moving down to C then, you always tend to work out your back bearing and then your forward bearing. So we've done AB. Then we did BA, now we're doing BC, then we'll do CB. So for here then, it's uh, um, C. If you're at B, you come round 213, you walk down here, and that's your line of sight around there. So if it's 213 from north to that line, it must be 213 from north to that line. So if you take 180 off, that'll leave you with that bit. So we've got our back bearing from C back to B, is going to be 213, you see it always relies on your previous answer, 213 minus 180. I've got a calculator over here, I can't do it in the air, but I suppose I better check. Um, so 213 minus 180, 
equals 33 degrees. Now we've just worked out that that angle there, that little angle from north back to that line is 33 degrees, which looks about right, it's going to be a small angle. But we don't really want to know from C back to B, we want to know from C round to D. But again, you've got the two answers, there's two angles, so if you add them together, that's from north. So we're going to end up with C to D is 33 degrees, add on the angle you're given, 89. So 33 degrees add 89 gives us a bearing from C to D. Um, so C to D bearing is going to be 122 degrees. Now that is that uh, red. I've done it in red on one before. I did that one in green. So we'd worked out that one initially was 33. And then we've just added those two together, 33 and 89 to get this, which is what we wanted, which was 122. I'll put that in red so it's a bit easier. So finally, we're on here. So we know that that distance there, that 122, that's the bearing we're starting with. 122 from north round to that line is the same as 122 from north. If you imagine walking along there, again, we'll do our line of sight. So if it's 122 from north to that line, it's still 122 from north to that line. Now here's where it gets a little curious, but can, you can kind of cheat here. You could do 122, add on 180 to get you there, and then add on 87. Right? If that makes sense to you, fine, do that. Right? Alternatively, you could do 122, Take off 180, which will give you a minus number, which will give you that angle, um, and then add on uh, 87. So, we'll do it that way first. Um, so, I suppose we've got 108, so D back to C is going to be 122 minus 180. That'll give us a negative number, but that negative number is going to go positive in a minute. A negative number in bearings just means you're going anti-clockwise from north, that's all. Either way, 122 minus 180 gives you minus 58, and the minus is important. It's saying the distance there is 58 degrees minus. So if you've got 58 degrees there, but we come around 87 clockwise, so we're going 58 anti-clockwise, 87 clockwise, we're going to be positive by about 30 degrees or whatever it is. Um, so from D back to A, we're going to have minus 58, add on the angle we're given, 87. So if I add on 87, so 29 degrees is that little red number there. Uh, just make sure I get my right colour pens. So D back to A is 29 degrees. So that's that angle there, 29 degrees. That's the bearing. So that's they, these are internal angles, they're not bearings because they're not from north. So we were given AB is 300, so north you'd find there. From this we've calculated B to C uh, from north is a 213. C to D from north is 122. And D to A from north is 29. Like I say, let's just check that going the other way around. Uh, so we'd have 122 from north to there, 180 at 87. Um, 122 plus 180 plus 87. Right, that gives you a total. We've kind of gone round full circle, which is 360 and a bit more. So if you added them all up that way, you'd have 122, and this is a check, plus 180 plus 87 gives you an answer of 389. But bearings can only be between 0 and 360. So if you get an answer that's bigger, just simply deduct 360 from it. Similarly, if you got a, a negative answer for a bearing, you'd add, you could add 360, but even so. So 389 minus 360 equals 29. And that is what we got initially.
So whichever way around you, you went, you'd still get the same final answer here. A little clearer, I'll just zoom in a little. So we started AB was 300, so from north all the way around to line B was 300. Now we've uh, walked along that line and we know that 300 take away 180 looks, sees us looking back at A, which leaves us the green angle of 120. So 300 take away 180 gives you 120. And then we've added on the angle 93, so we've got 120, add 93, gives you the bearing from north round to that line, and then you're off. So 120 add 93 gives you 213. So if you were at B and you turned around 213 degrees and went that way, you'd eventually come down to C. Um, so from C, north, all the way around to there is 213 still. If you take 180 off, that would get you back to B if you like, and it would leave you that little angle there. So you do 213 take away 180 gives you 33 which is that green number so we're in the same situation now we've got 33 on the left hand side and 89 on the other well if we add 33 and 89 that gives us the bearing from north round to c to d so when you add those two together 33 and 89 gives you 122 so from north at c if you turn 122 and walk that way you end up at b now we came back 180, which gives you a negative number, but when you add on 87, it brings you positive. And what we did was, we did 122, which was the original bearing to that dashed line, take away 180, gives you minus 58. Now a negative bearing just means you're going anti-clockwise, so we've gone minus 58, but we've added on 87 to bring us clockwise, by tw and it ends up as 29. So the little red angle there, the bearing there is 29 then you're back up to A. Another way of doing it would be, we know it's 122 all the way around to there. We'd add on 180 to get round to there, and then we'd add on 87 there. So we go more than a full circle and, 80, uh, and then further up. Now, by doing that, we'd end up with 122, which is that round to there, add 180, add 87. And that gives us 122, add 180, add 87 gives us 389 you can't have a number bigger than 360 for a bearing so we've had to take 360 off and it leaves you with 29 which is the difference there which is the same as what we got before so you'd end up you come around 29 and then you walk up to there and you're back at a so i hope that's a bit clearer i'll just uh hover here for a minute if you need to pause that and there you go